hot only on AT&T Sportsnet. Visit at and Sportsnet.com and click on the channel finder to see how you can watch Rockets basketball all season long. AT&T Sportsnet, the TV home of the Houston Rockets. Available on DirecTV, Uverse, and Xfinity. What does optimism look like? It looks like the ball floating through the air, backboard lit up in red, the entire arena holding its breath. You're down two, but you took the three. Some fans can't bear to look, but missing never crossed your mind. You knew it was going in the moment it left your hands. Taking the shot looks crazy sometimes, but it isn't. It's just different. And sometimes that's just the difference you need. Frost, the official bank of relentless optimism and proud partner of the Houston Rockets. At Kroger, no matter where you order free pickup, you get the same great deals as you get in store. So you can add bread to your cart during band practice, save on cheese while at the dog park, or even get a deal on apples when you order from the Pillow Fort. Use the app to stay in budget while enjoying the convenience of Kroger pickup. Start your cart and save from wherever today. Kroger, fresh for everyone. $35 order minimum. Restrictions may apply. Subject to availability. Rockets fans, catch all of the scores, highlights, and post-game analysis next on the Memorial Hermann Post-Game Show. Brought to you by Memorial Hermann. Advancing health, personalizing care. Take advantage of tonight's Rocket Shop online item of the game. Tonight, purchase a Light the Fuse t-shirt for just $10. Grab yours tonight only at Rocket Shop. Dot com as we continue here on the Memorial Hermit post game show. The Rockets, they took care of business tonight, and that is an understatement. Four preseason games for Houston, and they take care of the first one to the tune of a 38 point victory over the San Antonio Spurs. There was a lead change, came extremely early in this contest after the first four shots were made, and that was it. Rockets were out 11 to 4, built a double figure lead, built a 20 point lead, built a 30 point lead, and that final margin I gave you of 38 was the largest lead of the game for the Rockets over the Spurs. Spurs made just 11 of their 42 threes. That's 26 percent. Rockets made 16 of their 35 attempts. That's 46 percent. And the Rockets get the 134 to 96 victory tonight as we run through the second half highlights not a whole lot of minutes for the starters in the second half especially eric gordon who logged just 16 of them but uh he found the range from distance green down the lane no look pass one dribble to fernando kick out eg sets fires and hits a three third triple of the game for eric gordon he's got 13 points and that's what he finished with. Five of seven shooting overall, three of five, as I mentioned, from distance. And again, he scored those 13 points in just 16 minutes of action. That's early in quarter number three. And the Rockets were already up 26 points. They were up 62-37 at the half. And then again, that first half ended with the Dacian Knicks 47-foot heave that found the bottom of the net. KPJ made just one of his first seven shots in the first half, a first half uh, that had KPJ sitting in the uh, box score with just two points and had three assists. He was a pretty big part of why the Rockets pulled even further away in that third quarter. Alper and Shingun had to leave early in the third quarter uh, to get looked at, something with his right leg, something that did not affect him from coming back later in the game. But with him out, Bruno Fernando checked in. Time to run some pick and roll with KPJ. In front court, scoop comes. Down the lane, floater, alley-oop to Fernando, and it's a mean one. 30-point lead. The halftime conversation from Popovich has not worked. <laughs> the San Antonio Spurs stayed in the locker room till about a minute left in the half, so who knows what was said, but as Matt mentioned, it did not work. Nice alley-oop to Bruno Fernando, who throws it down. Rockets went up by 30. The second half for Jamari Smith was brief. Entered the second half with 15 points. He would leave with 21. That's six points on two shots. Here's a Smith three-pointer on the way, and it's nothing but nine on. 18 points now for Smith. 75-42. Passes out to Smith. Straight away, three four on the way. Good. Back to back. Triples, Jabari Smith Jr. 79-45, he's got a game-high 21. Jones straight away to Collins. 
21 points would end up being a game high alongside Tari Eason's 21. 21 points, 8 rebounds, 8 of 15 shooting, 5 of 8 from 3. Played just over 24 minutes in the game and had just 2 turnovers. Rockets were up 34 points. The pick and roll with KPJ to Bruno worked so well the first time they did it again. Giving it back to Scoot. alley -oop. Give and go. Finishing it. Bruno Fernando for two more. Runs that prick and roll beautifully. We mentioned it earlier. That's KPJ and Bruno. Another alley-oop slam. Eight points in 11 minutes for Fernando. A layup and a pair of dunks. Rockets up 34, 83 to 49. I mentioned KPJ, very effective in that third quarter. Had seven points of his own, making both of his shots. Had three assists in the first half, added three more in the third quarter. You heard the first two to Fernando, this one to Alpi. Shangun, but throws it between his legs. Dowling to Scoot, giving it back to Alpi in the pick and roll, and lays it in for two. Some smooth moves and some fancy passing between those two young men, 87 54. Rockets would uh, close out the quarter with a 30-point lead, 97-67, quickly got to 100, and kept on going big fourth quarter for Tari Eason. Ty Ty's got it. Lob to Marjanovic. The Bobinator throws it behind him. Down the lane, going up. Eason back heel, around the rim and down. Two more. Tari Eason. Eason had seven points in the third quarter, and that bucket there helped him have nine more in the fourth. 16 of his 21 points coming in the second half, and he had a double-double tonight. The only player on the court to do so, 10 boards to go along with those 21 points, and six of those 10 were on the offensive glass, helping the Rockets to 24 second-chance points. He made nine of his 13 shots. The Rockets got everybody in uniform tonight into the ball game late into the ball game for the final 65 was big number 51 the bobinator out right side tie tie for a three ball front iron miss put back Boban and here the bobinator will put it in grab lay it over the rim drop it in for two two buckets two assists three boards four points for Boban the third of the Rockets first round picks from this past draft Got into the game throughout the ball game, but really played significant minutes in the fourth quarter, helping to run this offense and also at times playing off the ball. He missed his first four attempts, then made his final three. Top of the key to the lane. Goes up, throws it off the backboard, and scores. Foul Jordan Hall, and one coming up for the rookie. Finally into the scoring column. and missed three of his three threes, obviously. Makes that really tough bank shot after drawing the contact. As it is the case sometimes, especially for a rookie, and in his case, in his first ever preseason action, an action of any kind in a NBA game, he had wide open looks on those earlier jumpers, none of which would fall. This was a very difficult right side of the lane bank shot in traffic and over the defender. It went in, he completed the three point play, uh, proceeded to make another couple of uh, jumpers, and finished with eight points in 12 and a half minutes to go along with an assist. Rockets led by 31 there, and they would get uh, the final seven points after that to finish this one off. 134. To 96, the Rockets move to 1 and 0 in the preseason. We'll have one more game here at Toyota Center. That comes Friday against Toronto. Then the final two preseason games: Monday at Miami and Friday at the Indiana Pacers. Before four more days off, and then that fifth day, they will play their regular season opener. We'll have details on that as we continue with the Memorial Hermann post-game show. We'll also take a look around the rest of the NBA. Now, this word from your local stations. Todd thought it would be secure to jog in the.